What's happening guys? Welcome back to Chronicles of the Creeks. I'm Josh, this is my wife Jenna, if you guys are new to the channel. And uh, today, we're gonna be giving away an Ameristep brick house three person ground blind. Just like this one right here. We just reached 1,000 subscribers on our channel. Thank you very much. We've set a goal this deer season. We just started our channel uh, in the beginning of deer season. We set a goal for 500 subscribers by the end of deer season. Deer season started early October and it ends in mid-January and we hit 1,000 subscribers. Not 500, but 1,000 about halfway through deer season. So, and that's thanks to you guys. We really appreciate your support. Let us tell you, we're having fun on this journey and we really hope you are too. So we posted a poll on our YouTube channel in the community and we posted four options for you guys to pick from for the giveaway. And you guys chose the Ameristep Brickhouse ground blind. One option was binoculars, a safety harness, electronic headsets, walkers, gamers, and the uh, ground blind. And by far, most of you said that you wanted to win the ground blind. So that's what we're gonna be giving away. It's gonna be just like this one, but not this one. We're gonna buy a brand new one in the box and we're gonna pay for it ourselves and have it shipped to you. Just wanna mention we're not sponsored by Ameristep or any other blind or deer stand manufacturer. This is just something we wanna to do to say thank you and welcome to the channel. Stick around, we'll tell you exactly how to enter. But first, let's show you around this ground blind. This is something that we've made a lot of memories out of. Uh, we made some memories on Thanksgiving day. Me and our daughter, Jessa, were here hunting Thanksgiving morning. We actually cooked macaroni and cheese in our deer blind uh, Thanksgiving morning and had a good time and didn't die. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we actually killed a deer that morning too. And that's a fun hunt. That video is posted on our channel as well. So this morning, Jenna and I hunted out this morning, same place. We saw a monster buck, a true monster buck. Uh, couldn't get a shot at it. It got by us really quick. It was over behind some limbs, behind some brush, over 100 yards away and just wouldn't stop continuously walking. And it uh, couldn't was stop it. It was, it was a little, still a little bit dark back there where it was and it just got by us super quick. But big deer, we had a fun hunt. I fell through my chair. <laughs> I blew out a out a, uh, a a folding chair, so somebody got a huge kick out of that. I'm sure that will end up on the channel as well. <laughs> but we were having too much fun making our thumbnail, and just had too much fun and got carried away. And fat kid fell through his chair. So, and somebody laughed till she cried. Anyhow, we. We love hunting out of these blinds because you can move around. It's perfect to take the family in, you know, the kids, the wife, you know, and just have a good time and have fun. So many things you can do in these things. Like I said, we even cooked in it. So we have plans uh, for cooking some other stuff in a blind coming up. Uh, we're gonna show you around the blind and um, then we're gonna tell you how to enter the contest. All right, so we'll start with just a quick 360 of the ground blind and kind of show you. We've got it all completely opened up right now. So you can see all the windows, see inside it, got a little daylight inside it. These windows, uh, the window coverings are not Velcro, they're not zipper. They have little tabs that hook into bungee cord loops. So they're super quiet to open and close. The door itself, however, does have a zippered opening, which is fine because it secures it nicely. Um, you got the pull tabs here to make setup easier, get a little more leverage on those for popping it out. So the blind comes with comes with stakes as well to stake it down. It also comes with tie downs if you want to tie it and stake it, which I do recommend. I usually don't do that. I'll usually just stake it, but I, uh, it is best practice to tie it as well. Right now, it's not staked down. We just got it out here in the open where we can move around and show you all about it. But the door, zippers, so zippers are hard to work quietly in the mornings when it's quiet and nothing's making any noise outside. But I have learned that once you get it started, just reach in here and grab the metal part of the zipper, okay? And just, that's quieter than that. So, um. all right, well, come on in, I'll show you. Show you around my pad. All right, 
So as I mentioned, windows everywhere, different shapes and sizes, in any location, doesn't matter where you wanna place this blind, there's gonna be a window in the right spot. So I mentioned the loops, the bungee loops and tabs, they just slide in just like that. There you go. And several of them around these windows. So this blind, like I mentioned, it's an Ameristep brick house, three person blind. They advertise it as a three person blind. And I can tell you from my experience that that is, that is accurate. I find that to be true. Uh, I would say this blind is probably uh, sufficient size for three people and their gear, but not anymore, probably not four. You could probably get three children and an adult if you would want to do that. I wouldn't want to hunt with three kids at once, but you could in here, uh, especially if you don't have a ton of gear. A one person could get in here and spend the night. Plenty of room to move around, stretch your legs. Like I said, we've cooked in here. We, you know, we get in here, we rake out all the leaves when we set it up, get all the sticks out so you're not making noise. Uh, and also if you have a heater or something or a stove you're cooking on, it's not a fire hazard. So um, you'll notice as well, I will mention that if you're gonna do some cooking in here, open the windows. You'll notice we did that on our video when me and Jessica cooked on Thanksgiving, we made the mac and cheese first thing we did. We opened a couple extra windows to get some air moving through to prevent a buildup of carbon monoxide, which will kill you. You may have noticed there are no screens on these windows. That's not because it didn't come with any. It came with screens on every single one of these windows. And if you'll notice, you see this Velcro here. The screens were Velcroed on. Uh, I personally am not a fan of screens. The only time I want screens on my ground blind is if I'm hunting early, early season, like bow season in Georgia, late summer, early fall, it's still really hot and mosquitoes are out and I wanna keep mosquitoes out of my blind. We haven't been bow hunting a whole lot lately. I may regret this next year, but the first thing I did when I got this blind, I set it up, I ripped every screen off by the Velcro and threw it in the trash. So Jenna's back here rolling her eyes at me, shaking her head because mosquitoes absolutely carry her off. So I may regret that, but I just knew that I didn't want them here. I didn't want them in my way. Uh, some of them did have holes uh, that you could shoot through, look through with your binoculars, what have you but I just, I'm not a fan of the screens at all. If I wanted to open one of these windows in a hurry, I could do that, you know, if the screens are not on it. If the screens are on it, I'm gonna have to open the window and make all this noise with the Velcro, like super noisy, and I'm just not into that, so. So yes, it does come with screens, um, not my thing. Like most pop-up blinds, you have a pretty rigid framework in here, semi-flexible, fairly rigid, almost like a tent, like tent poles. We use these to strap our camera mounts to. If you're into filming hunts, there's just, there's poles everywhere to strap cameras to. When we're hunting, we usually have one up in the corner pointing back at us, and then one on a tripod looking out. And then, uh, like when we were cooking, uh, me and Jessa, we took one of the cameras and attached it straight up overhead, looked straight down into the pot of mac and cheese. I really don't have any complaints with this ground blind. I've had several. I like this one just as good as any of the rest. It's not one of the high dollar Cadillac models, uh, but it is, it is sufficient for what we're doing. And I would personally love to win one. So maybe it will be yours. So this contest is gonna run for roughly three weeks. By the time this video is released, you're gonna have approximately three weeks to find the video, scrolling through your feed, watch the video, comment, do everything you need to do to enter get entered and then come back on January 6th and look in the pinned comment for the winner. I will put the winner up in the pinned comment, the very first comment you'll see down below. You see your name, your screen name, your YouTube username. You know you are the winner of the Ameristep Brick House three person pop-up ground blind. So January 6th, check back in, come find this video, check the comments, see if you've won. When you guys come back January 6th to see if you've won and you see your username up there uh, posted in the pinned comments as the winner of the ground blind, what you need to do is get our email address that is listed in the description. It will also be in the pinned comment. Send us an email to that email address letting us know that you are the username that has won. Then we will give you instructions on what to do there to claim your prize. To enter this giveaway, guys, there's three things you need to do. Three things, three very simple things. One, make sure you are a subscriber. Some people have said, I could have sworn I subscribed a long time ago, but I wasn't a subscriber, uh, so I went and subscribed. Make sure you're subscribed, okay? So subscribe, then like this video, 
is click the thumbs up button, like this video, and then number three, comment on this video. And that's it. That's all you have to do and you're entered. So y'all just like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you in our next video. Good luck to y'all.